Alright guys, so on this video I'm going to be talking about this truck and what we're doing with it. This is a 1972 Chevy Blazer. The cool thing about this is this white top actually comes off. So this is the engine we're going to be putting in it. These are, this is the engine that we're going to be putting in it. It's a um, 350. What the heck's going on with my phone? No idea. Why is LT on? Ah! I'm poor. I don't have much LT. Okay, but the reason we're not going to be putting, or er, the reason we're not going to be keeping this engine in is because it's a two bolt, and for all you people that don't know what it is, I'm going to show you what it is right here. This is what I'm talking about. See how there's four bolts right there? One, two, three, four. On this engine, it only has two. And this, um, so this makes it to where it can hold this when it's spinning faster so this doesn't break. Brackets. Moving on to the truck. Like I said, it's a 72 Blazer. And you guys should comment what wheels I should get, or what we should get, my dad and I, because we're looking for some mudding tires, but we don't know what tires are good. These are alright, they have decent tread, but I don't think we're going to keep them for long. Because we want to make this like a rock climbing truck. Right here, why it's all black is because my dad and I rebuilt this. We already rebuilt the front differential. And we are going to be getting this POS paint job. Well, it's not really a bad paint job, it's just it's been sitting for eight years, so not the best looking so we're gonna get get it sandblasted that's why everything's stripped right here because we're gonna get it towed to what am I doing with my hand we're gonna go get it towed to the sandblasting shop and then they're gonna pull the engine and transmission out and yeah while they're doing that my dad and I are gonna be finish rebuilding this like I said, this has already been rebuilt once. It has the 30 thousandths bore in it. So, or did I say that? I don't know if I said that already. Um, we already got a new steering gearbox. We got a new transmission. And we got a new transfer case for the four wheel drive because this one didn't come with one. As you can see right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. See? Right there. That's where a transfer case would go. But it's not there. Who's texting me? Oh, I think that's just YouTube notifications. Oh, look. The sad mirror. Sad. Nice and saggy. Yeah, we stripped all the inside. These are all the parts like the hood and fenders and everything. They're going to sandblast those. I'm getting them ready to go. What else have we done to this truck? The, oh, we cut out the gas tank because we're putting a bigger one in. That's also another thing. Gas tank usually goes right there. E. Eh. E. Eh. Come on. No. No. I want it to go. Eh. Oh, it's at max exposure. Okay, but right there is where the gas tank usually goes. So, yeah, that's our 1972 Blazer. It's a transfer case. So, it has a three grandy gear so we can go rock climbing and all that good stuff. What else? If my dad and I can get to using this lathe, I might start making shift knobs. So, it's just maybe. But, so that's probably going to wrap up the video, just because I didn't want to keep it too long. Just to let you guys know that I am doing something with cars, so I'm not just waiting until I get my car and then start posting videos. So I will be doing videos on this, and I'll be doing a before and after 
transformation. Guys, so if you waited till the end of the video, I very much appreciate it. I'm booting up the computer so I can edit it. And this will be episode one of the Big Red Truck. That's what I'm going to call this series. So, thanks for watching. You should definitely, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and hit a like button. So, this will be the end of episode one of the Big Red Truck.